can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Let's do this. Try to stay behind me. That was I can cover your back. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. Give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after.
You did it. Yeah. Uh. Hmm? All right, good enough. Let's keep on trucking. Hmm. Stop. Did we wake it up? Get him! Seriously. You're done. Looks like a dead end. I bet you can grab that container with the arm.
Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <laughs> yeah? Huh? Uh... <sighs> <sighs> oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! Okay, right there. Hold on while I drop the ladder. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. Too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crime? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Kepperman, composite, I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, uh, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense. Due recompense? No, shit, bro brains, due recompense. 
It's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, 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 damages. Uh, uh, of course, so I damages that. I, 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 I think we've heard enough. being a soldier that is random you don't have to tell me if you don't want to um did you have any soldier friends any war buddies no not really oh okay huh what we got here fresh meat to the third Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it?
Gotcha. Pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh? Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. Check it out. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Okay. Hold it right there, lovebird. <laughs> you won't pass through our territory. <laughs> There it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! time ago I used to sell flowers here oh yeah <sighs> so cloud you were a soldier first class right yeah Really? What's weird about it? 
Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. Won't take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector Seven in style? This is the passageway for you. getting home and if I said I wasn't I'll go with you I thought you needed to get back <laughs> don't worry I have a backup route for emergencies and it's safer too <laughs> guess this is it then Ready? Yeah. going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. Yeah! Yeah! No, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Okay. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry.
Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. The sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, hey there, sweetie. Oh. Check it out. Uh, I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Dung's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon.
Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then, how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Guess right, and I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tail, you lose. <sighs> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. They're closed right now. Why don't we try looking for another one of the trio? Let's talk about a busy day, huh? So, what do you say we grab a drink? There's something downright wrong with this place. They're ripping off. <laughs> to go down like this. So this the place? I just wanted to see Andrea. Think so. First, let me handle this. But you wait out here, it was like, okay? And why would I do that? 
No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. I'm sorry that I couldn't be of more help to you. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. <sighs> Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged what? outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... <laughs> hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! Oh. Hmm. 
the strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Clyde. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> That was to your liking. Do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am. Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's all right, I guess. <laughs> oh, you. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So... What do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along.
What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. Fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too cocky, okay? <laughs> this you're here to compete <laughs> i hope you know you're cutting it really close so the two of you are a team team no it's just me yes the two of us are a team i need to get into that audition but i won't let anyone else fight my battles for me that includes you mister all right team it is head to the waiting area down below this thing go you think I wonder how many people are fighting hey you're not nervous are you nope really you're even more quiet than usual just trying to focus like you should It's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. You two, wait here until it's time. needed a little scratch you know so I signed up for the preliminaries and well I hope you guys realize what you're getting into I don't want to scare you but if you can make a run for it you should cloud and Aaron your match will begin shortly please make your way to the gate We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed.
For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple, no less. Talk about a bad day. And this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! One of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Who oh. would expect to make a meal of our two challengers with our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The Sanguine Stalker! Ladies and gentlemen, who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink! Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! You got them! down go team hmm. what's wrong the rules don't make sense yeah true but maybe it'll be better in the next match nah wouldn't bet on it better to expect the worst And Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! Couple my ass! What the hell you two trying to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents, the Reavers in this trap yard, thieves and killers through and through! Too criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible son of bitches is not a Walmart Max Why? Because we're going to serve up a heap of help. 
What does just dessert taste like? Huh? Like justice! Oh, oh, like yeah. payback! <laughs> and who are these unscrupulous looking gentlemen? It would seem that there are actually eight members of Beck's badasses. Hey, that's cheating. The only rule here is that there are no rules. Yeah. If Corneo says it's okay, you gotta suck yeah. it up. Yeah. Suck it! Did not hit Brandon in the brutal! This is ridiculous. The odds are overwhelmingly stacked against them. This could be a real bloodbath. So I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins now! Kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall for grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me.
Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know, we're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts would surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! Condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather low. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry, the madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, 
But you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! <laughs> you greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we share your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one Don Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! <laughs> Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far! Klaus and Eric! Oh, that is already found this house's 